Welcome to the Morning Meditation Podcast with your host, Joe Consford, brought to you by HardwareOnTheSquare.com. What Satan Can Do Genesis chapter 3 verse 4 And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. He can deceive. Satan can talk. He can speak all the languages of the world. In this case, he used the serpent to vocalize his deception on Eve. The serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. In this statement, he cast doubt on veracity of God. God had a purpose of allowing him to go that far. Why, we do not know. Satan continues to deceive today. He finds a way to communicate with man in a way that seems right. Proverbs 16.25 There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but in the end thereof are the ways of death. What happens when deception takes place? The one deceived begins to live according to the deception. It was only after Satan camouflaged himself as a serpent that Eve was emboldened to take of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. How many times has he deceived a young man or woman concerning his or her marriage partner? Satan has a part in persuading young Christians to yoke up with unbelievers in violation of 2 Corinthians 6.14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness. The believer's deception has been so well orchestrated by Satan that he believes he is right. Satan is always behind those who choose to bypass the scriptures for the screening out of Satan's suggestions. Next, he is bold in his claims. Satan's temptation of the Son of God shows his diabolical and fearless attack on the very Son of God. If he will attack Jesus, we can be sure that he does not hesitate to attack the believer. This is brought out in 2 Corinthians 11 verses 13 through 15. For such are false prophets, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if he ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. Number 1. The False Apostles Mimic the apostles of Christ. Some of them are artists of deception. They become rich off of poor, helpless people who are ignorant of the scriptures and thus unable to discern their ungodly motives. Number two, the deceitful workers identify them as false. They pawn themselves off as the apostles of Christ. They are self-made men and women. Listen, I have heard lost politicians that could preach better than some preachers I know. Number 3. Paul warned the church at Ephesus with these words. Acts chapter 20, verse 30 and 31. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Number four. How did Paul know this would happen? He knew how Satan operates. He will stir up the emotions of those easily deceived. It is his way of fighting God's people. He makes them think reasonably to the natural man. Number five, Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. John eight twelve. 
Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So when you look for Satan, you will discover he is not a little red devil with horns and pitchfork in his hands. He will come to you as an angel of light. He is convincing in his arguments. But it is all one big lie to fight man who was made in the image of God. The good news is that he can be resisted successfully. James 4, 7 Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Number 1. Note what comes first. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Second. When we are submitted to the Lord, we will be able to resist Satan. We have the definite promise that he will flee from us. Satan can be beaten when a believer flies into the comforting arms of Jesus. May the Lord bless these words to our hearts today. Join us each day as we meditate on the Word together. Be sure to subscribe and leave an objective review on your favorite podcast player app. You can always find us on the web at hardwareonthesquare.com slash podcast.